A heavy metal ball with four strange looking rods started everything. All it could produce was a funny kind of sound. It may not seem too impressive, but please know that thanks to that metal ball, you are able to sit down and watch a sports match coming live from the other side of the world and know whether to take an umbrella when you leave home tomorrow morning. Sputnik, the first man-made satellite launched by Soviet scientists in October 1957, was not capable of doing much. But Sputnik will forever be remembered for paving the way to the satellite revolution which changed our world forever. Satellites stay in orbit thanks to Earth's gravity. In low altitudes, a satellite must maintain a speed of no less than 8 kilometers per second in order not to fall back to the ground. The satellite's relative speed vis-a-vis -vis the Earth is determined by its distance from it. Low orbit satellites circle the Earth once in an hour and a half. Satellites in a medium Earth orbit do so twice a day and geostationary orbit satellites take exactly 24 hours to circle the Earth and therefore appear to be hanging over a fixed point on the ground. Three, two, one. Lift off. The most dramatic stage of the satellite's life is the launch. Years of development and strict preparations are concentrated in these crucial moments. The launching missile, composed of three stages, sheds the first two heavy ones in the first few minutes in order to obtain maximum speed when entering space. As it reaches space, the satellite separates from the third stage and sets up for operation. Its solar panels and antennas are deployed so that it can use the sun's energy. Photographic equipment and other systems also begin operations. Low Earth orbit satellites are used mostly for imaging purposes, both civilian and military. These satellites orbit the Earth about 15 times a day and can obtain either individual frames or strips of photos while maneuvering to change their angle until they complete a scan of the desired area of interest. These satellites are extremely valuable. They can detect military movements over time, assess ecological or geological changes, assist in agriculture, mapping, and much more. They give us a snapshot of our world from different angles, free of territorial limits and in real time. In medium Earth orbit, 20,000 kilometers above ground, the satellite requires 12 hours to circle the Earth. At this altitude, a constellation of 25 GPS satellites provide navigational aid to millions of people around the world. Military forces can find their way in the field and accurately direct GPS-guided missiles to their targets. Commanders in the headquarters can receive a live status of the whole battlefield. Global positioning satellites cover the Earth so that at each given moment, a GPS device in the ground receives at least four positioning signals from orbiting satellites. The point in which just three signals cross each other yields an accurate coordinate on the ground. Combined with a mapping software, the result is the familiar moving GPS image we know. At an altitude of 36,000 kilometers, it takes exactly 24 hours for a satellite to circle the Earth. This synchronous orbit hosts a ring of geostationary communication, weather, and early warning satellites which are positioned over fixed points on the ground Geostationary satellites can connect large remote areas on the ground. They transmit to the ground in beams. Each satellite may transmit several beams directed at various places on Earth. The area that each beam covers is called a footprint, and all the antennas contained in this area can enjoy its services. Geostationary satellites are used for various communication forms direct to home TV channels, broadband internet, satellite radio, 
telephony, e-medicine, e-learning, and much more. These satellites play a major role in the communication revolution our world has experienced in recent years. They allow advanced communications to reach remote spots in the world and connect underdeveloped areas to global information centers. From a military perspective, these satellites provide early warning capabilities against ballistic missiles, relay transmissions between units in the field, allow unmanned aircraft control over enemy territory, and more. The Israeli space program is one of the most advanced in the world in terms of satellites. Numerous military and civilian Israeli-built satellites are successfully operating today in orbit around Earth. The OFEC surveillance satellites provide invaluable intelligence to security units, and the ERA satellites provide commercial footage for various uses. These satellites are lightweight, have a high resolution, and are capable of performing a wide range of tasks with great agility and flexibility. The Israeli space industry has its own launching capacity to low Earth orbit in the form of the Shavit launcher, a purely Israeli-made missile. The Amos communication satellites, which were built by the IAI for Spacecom, circle the Earth in a geostationary orbit and provide advanced communication services, which include TV broadcasts, broadband internet, and more. Spacecom's international success in supplying advanced commercial satellite-based communication services is one of the strongest incentives to the future development of the Israeli space industry. Satellites have become an inseparable part of our lives. They are one of the most important factors which helped in turning our world into a global village. So, the next time you turn on your TV or navigate in a heavy urban traffic, look up and remember that at any given moment, some very special man-made stars hover above us in the sky.